like to introduce Francis Phillips. Again, Francis is the uh, branch manager for Residential Home Funding Corporation, and uh, he's here to tell us what's going on with lending and anything else you want to know. Thank you, Joanne. Yeah, thanks, Francis. Thank you, Donna, for the invitation to be here today. Good morning, everyone. Uh, as Joanne said, I'm Francis Phillips. I'm the National Director of Branch Development for Residential Home Funding in Parsippany, New Jersey. Uh, we have 40 branches across the country. We're a national mortgage banking group, and I serve as the branch manager here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, I have great news to report, and that is, as we've seen in the past, and if we can make a correlation between the real estate market to the stock market, when you see a stock market correction, on CNBC, you'll see a lot of people say, okay, cash is coming into the market. Cash is coming into the market. And that's your smart buyers, they're the ones ready to take that risk after a stock market correction, push their money into the market. That's your smart money, as they call it, the cash. What we saw in the lending markets here in the last two years is, as we lenders would solicit realtors for their business, for referral business, for purchase transactions, a common thing we would hear is, I just had cash buyers. Everyone's cash, cash, and I see the realtors shaking their heads. Cash, cash, cash. Well, there's been a change. There's been a shift here in the last six months where now people are asking for loans, okay? So in our industry in lending, we are super, super, super busy. So we're happy, okay? Now, as for percentages that I can share with you, they are only internal within my branch and also residential home funding. But what I would say is from two years ago to a year ago when we were doing about maybe 80% refinancings, today we're doing about 58% purchase business, 42% refi. Okay? So was this is sorry, the first figure was last year. Last time? year approximately 80% in refis of our, our, our loan business. Mm -hmm. Today is 42% refi, 58% purchase business. Mm -hmm. Okay? So both are very aggressive for us at the moment. And if we make that correlation to cash, now that the smart money has come in, they've taken the foreclosures, the short sales, they've taken the inventory, as we've seen and compared, the inventory numbers are now decreasing, the cash buyers have taken the properties, and now the mortgages are coming in. That's a very strong indication that the worst is behind us because the loan business is up significantly. Okay? So more consumer confidence is coming in. People are wanting to buy, they're wanting to borrow. Okay? So that's a huge message I'd like to send out today. Okay? Now as for purchase loan transactions, we're seeing lots of foreclosure buying, short sale buying. Uh, we're also having lots of excitement about the interest rates where after the Obama cuts from three years ago, two years ago, we still see today the interest rates even lower than where they were two years ago. So for levels of mortgages, you would see a 30-year in the mid fours, a 20-year in the low fours, a 15-year in the high threes, a 10-year in the mid to low threes, and arms in the high twos to low threes. So those numbers are creating not a huge refi boom, but I would say a smart money boom of refis where clients who may have had a 30-year mortgage at 4.75, 4.875, two, three years ago, are now refinancing to 15 and 10-year mortgages. Another statistic I can share is now we're seeing 15-year mortgages make up about 20 to 25% of our offerings. So people are getting more savvy, they're getting more confident, and then they're moving to 10 and 15 years to take off 10, 15 years off of their mortgages.